What's going on everybody? It's your boy the low key legend. How the fuck y'all do it to dab do it? All right, today I'm back with a brand new story for you guys. Today we are going to be talking about the first time I tried ketamine. Okay, so if you guys do enjoy this story, man, be sure to hit the thumbs up button right now. It goes a super long way. Also, if you guys are new to the YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you guys always get notified and never miss out on a brand new low key legend youtube video anyways guys let's dive on into this story my first time trying ketamine all right so for ketamine uh, i'm just gonna say k for short okay so k stands for ketamine all right just so i don't have to say the entire word it sounds nasty coming off my uh, lips right now but anyways man yeah so about a month ago i would say um my, one of my neighbors hit me up and she lives uh, like a couple blocks down and um we decided to link and when we did link she is the plug i didn't really know that until i linked up at her house and she was busting down lines of ketamine and at this time you know i was feeling a very type of way i just got out of a long-term relationship so i wanted to kind of feel loose and uh, just enjoy my overall i don't know what the fuck came into me dude she asked if i wanted a bump and i was sitting there contemplating for a little bit i told her i was like i never tried ketamine you know i don't want to i've heard of people going into these quote-unquote k-holes and i don't want to do that you know i i, I want to be okay i want to try a i'll try a little bump and she completely you know understood agreed and i go in and i try it okay so what happens is i take a little bump and i sit back and i'm chilling all right i'm just sitting there it's a very um i don't know the word for it spicy spicy feeling <laughs> it's it's strong is all i have to say it's like a, a strong spicy feeling in in your nose that's really i think what it comes down to best way to describe it um but after a while man once it starts like kicking in kind of a lot harder after you continuously keep inhaling it starts to ha sort of have a loosey effect all right so i i'm i was feeling really loose numb a little bit but more loose than anything i felt really wiggly and like um I don't know it was just it was like a controlled trip i think i think that's a cool way to describe it it was like imagine tripping on acid but like not a lot you know to the point where it's like you're happy you're enjoying shit and you are conscious and control you know in control of your body pretty much um that is my initial kind of reaction to the whole thing later on in the night i progressively started to do a little more and more um so throughout the night like at the end of the night i think i was feeling really good and we were at this uh one person's house and she was busting more down and i'm like yo you know what i kind of want to go in a k-hole now so she laughed i laughed we all laughed and boom she throws me in a k-hole all right so i'm kind of out what a k-hole is pretty much guys is I was pretty, I was sitting there, gone, all right, it, that's literally what it was, I wasn't, I couldn't really move too much, I just felt stuck in place in my chair with just a bunch of happy thoughts running through my mind, a really, really weird um, drug, if I have to say so myself, dude, I don't know if I would really do that again, I probably, I mean, I, w I don't know, I, it'd have to, you know, be a spur of the moment thing again, I definitely did want to try it, anyways, man, it was a pretty alright experience for me, I really wouldn't recommend you guys trying this substance out, just because it can become very addicting, and it's not something you are going to want to abuse like that, in my eyes, I mean, I don't know. I tried it once. I woke up the next day pretty, um, I mean, I, I don't think I really felt anything too much the next day. I can't really remember too much of that day. Uh, to be completely honest, it was, um, a lot of everything involved. So it was cool, man. It was, that was my first time trying ketamine. I smoked a little bit of weed on it and that was pretty much it. I, I don't even know if I smoked. Yeah, I, I smoked on it a little bit, smoked a little bit on it, but Nonetheless, bro, I was doing, uh, I was doing bumps throughout the night. So, I mean, it was, it was an interesting experience to say the least. I don't want to hype this drug up because it's really not crazy of a, you know, I mean, people can definitely abuse this and go down weird paths, but I mean, this is a cool drug. If you guys have a, a good environment for it, I would, I would classify this drug as like a Molly, like, you know, in the Molly category, I, this is something you're going to want to take maybe at a rave or, a, uh, you know, a certain occasion, a party. I mean, I don't know the exact environment. I'd definitely try 
try this out at a rave but literally we were just driving around town went to uh this one dude's house chilled there for a little bit and um yeah, that was pretty much it, man. Anyways, that's my experience trying ketamine, guys. If you guys have ever tried this out, drop your experience in the description. If you, What do you guys think about ketamine? Drop your opinions in the description, man. It's good to uh, educate people. So if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments as well. This has been my first time trying ketamine. The story, if you guys enjoy, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Like I said, if you guys are new to the YouTube channel, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you guys always get notified and never miss out on another low-key legend youtube video and that's all i got for you guys so y'all stay safe stay savage stay low-key it's your boy the low-key legend i'm out of here guys adios